Mzansi, legendary Gwadja musician and television philanthropist Bonginko Sidlamini, popularly known as Zola 7, has been making tabloid headlines and trending on social media after a video of him surfaced all over the internet with the ex-host of the successful Zola 7 show looking unwell. Now, many industry colleagues started showing support, with some even making contributions towards Zola 7's well-being and financial state. But it was fans who started the whole trend, and now Zola 7 has almost been brought in tears as he's overwhelmed with gratitude. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Zansi, this video started circulating online after it was reported by the City Press that the media personality had been suffering from a chronic illness since 2018. The publication reported that Lamini had been diagnosed with chronic epilepsy three years ago in 2021 and has been suffering from this illness in silence. Now, industry friends of Zola 7 and fans started showing love to the Guluva, with many offering to show him love, while others contributed towards his well-being in materialistic objects and some financially. Mum Kize was one of the few celebrities who reached out to make Zola 7's day a little much brighter. The businesswoman and football mogul came through and made one of Zola 7's dreams, which was to drive a Bentley in his life come true. Sean Mkiza shared to social media a video of her and Zola hanging out like good old friends in her car outside her home as she went to take Zola for a spin in one of her luxury cars. After this video, rumors started resurfacing with people on social media making claims that Mum Kiza had donated 1 million rands to Zola 7. Lamini and his team have since released an official statement on the artist's Instagram page denying these rumors. Now, this was evidently not an attack on Mum Kiza, as Zola has continued to show nothing but love and appreciation to her. Now, this week, Mzansi, Zola dropped by on Metro FM during the debut of Mo Flavor and Kutsu Teledi's breakfast show wake up on metro and showed gratitude and appreciation to individuals that have continued to support him he mentioned that a lot of people have been making kind contributions and helping him afloat he added that he had received a sheep that he's now keeping as his pet earlier yesterday we saw zola 7 receiving what many assumed to have been a pro bono haircut from sheldon tatchell's famous salon legends baba making the musician look younger and fresher mzazi but to date zola 7 mzazi he looks like he is steadily coming back to business as his brainchild, the Strictly Quieter Legends Festival, made its comeback at the Bears Palace in Bumalanga this past Saturday. It was also reported that the event is dedicated to him, with all its proceedings also to be donated to Zola 7. Now, in a recent tweet, Zola 7 shared that he'd been overwhelmed by the love he received in Bumalanga. I swear I wasn't crying. The love I am being shown in Bumalanga is so amazing. Hashtag Namanje. Namzansi, there you have it. This is looking like such a motivational story of a comeback. And I mean, all the love that Zola 7 is receiving from his industry peers and most importantly, the fans has been so amazing and amazing to watch. Do leave your thoughts on the comment section below. I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hard just the way you like it.